Let's see, what do I want to talk about today? Uh, God, we talk about page builders all the time. Contact forms are kind of boring. Maybe I could talk about e-commerce plugins. Oh, see what's broken on Twitter. Patreon. Patreon, a platform that has become measurably worse with each update, is excited to announce an exciting new update. Now it costs you more money. Yo, if you ever plan on doing a Patreon, get an account and sit on it to become a founding creator because anyone else is gonna contend with this new membership plan that costs more money and offers extra tools that amount to nothing but an excuse to charge this. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you can't guess what we're talking about today, we're talking about Patreon alternatives and specifically for your WordPress website with two quick and easy plugins that I think can be a nice replacement for Patreon, especially if you're just getting started. I'm sure there's some deeper uh, integrations or app-like functions that Patreon can provide you, um, some membership type functionality as well. We're not gonna cover that in this video. I think there's a ton of great membership plugins out there for WordPress. Some of them I've covered on this channel before, so you can have a quick search for that, or if you have some that you want me to cover, drop it in the comments below and I'll take a look at it in another video. In the next upcoming tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use GiveWP and WP Simple Pay. I think these two plugins are great alternatives to Patreon for your WordPress website. GiveWP is definitely the more robust uh, solution out there. It's generally aimed at nonprofits and organizations looking to raise some money. Um, and WP Simple Pay is just that. It's a quick and easy way to accept a payment on your website. But I think both of them afford you flexibility and ease of use to get started right away. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All right, so I'm gonna show you these two plugins that I mentioned, GiveWP and WP Simple Pay Lite. I, both, I have them both installed already, very straightforward to install. You just install and activate, and then we can go in and build a donation form uh, in either one of these. The contacts I wanna wrap around both of this is GiveWP is a much larger plugin than WP Simple Pay Lite. It's very much geared towards uh, people that wanna do a lot more with donations, especially in like nonprofits and things like that. I'm looking at both free versions today and I'm gonna show you in just using Beaver Builder. That's just an aside. I like to show out pages using um, Beaver Builder, but you can create these quick donation forms and that's the goal. We're not gonna go into every nook and cranny of both of these plugins. So installed and activated both GiveWP, WP Simple Pay Lite. Let's take a look at GiveWP first. I've already created a form. It's called Support My Show. You can quickly see here that the amounts range from $3 to $150. I'm going to go ahead and hit Edit on this. And there are a lot of options in GiveWP to uh, configure your donation forms and do different things. Um, but right here, the most important pieces, of course, are the donation levels. So you can see 3 10 25 and so on. I can add another level, let's say like $300 if I wanted to, and I could just keep going down the list and keep adding them uh, or removing them uh, if I see fit. And this is the general screen right here where you can quickly make these uh, any donation level. Uh, so you're not restricted by uh, maybe like a Patreon or another platform. You can create any donation level you want or even set up a custom amount where somebody can just throw in any amount that's within these parameters, both minimum and maximum. Um, it's important to note that these both of these plugins that I'm showing you today, the free versions, only support single donations. So if you want recurring donations for GiveWP, you have to get their recurring add-on, uh, which you can see right here in the add-on screen. You click this, this, this will bring you to their website to see the recurring uh, donation add-on and learn a little bit more about that. So if you want people to pay you every month or every quarter, whatever it might be, you can use this add-on to do that. Um, and then I'll show you the other one when we get to Simple Pay. So we'll go back to the form. And the last thing that you really wanna play with here is the form display. And you can do some fun things like change what the button, uh, how the button displays, um, how the display uh, uh, looks in general. So you can have it just be a single button that somebody clicks, or you can just have all fields uh, show right out, of the, uh, right out of the gate. We'll click that and we'll save that for, for right now. Another important piece because GiveWP uh, you can set up registration to your WordPress website. It creates a user. This would be important if you had recurring donations because somebody could come back and cancel the recurring donation through the website. Um, but if you don't have that or you don't want it, you can put registration none um, and guest donations enabled. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit update on that little change we made for the display option. And I'm gonna hit copy short code. This is what I'm gonna use to drop into a page. So I'll go to all pages. I'm gonna do add new, I'm gonna say a donation form and then launch Beaver Builder. 
And then with Beaver Builder, again, this is Beaver Builder free, so you can get pretty quick and low cost to set up your own uh, donations page. I'm going to drop in the give uh, form ID, and that's it right there. It just displays it right here in Beaver Builder. Um, and I can, you know, customize my page to do other fun things uh, on a single donation page. Totally up to you. But this is what the display of GiveWP looks like. A user could come in, select the different levels, drop in their first and last name in an email address. And then when they hit support my show, it's just going to direct you to either PayPal or Stripe, whatever uh, uh, gateman, uh, gateway uh, account you have set up. So either PayPal or Stripe are the, generally the two most, um, the two most common. Okay, so that's GiveWP at a really quick level at the free version, just setting up single singular donations. Simple Pay Lite is even lighter and easier. By default, it only has one uh, one time fee that you could set up or one time donation payment uh, that you could set up. Um, you could set up multiple Simple Pay Lite forms if you wanted to, to to have to cover a different range of things, but you'll see how that works in a second. So here it's just five bucks, um, and you can come in and copy this short code. I'll copy that short code, but you can see here you can customize this button as well. Support my show, support my channel, whatever you want to do. Um, this particular plugin only works with Stripe, but they have a new version coming out, which is actually going to work with Apple and Google Pay, which is really cool because I think most people who are watching like a YouTube channel or uh, listening to a podcast, they're doing it on their mobile device. So if you can just quickly uh, give a donation with Apple Pay, um, that would be really awesome. And again, their pro plan will get you that subscription if that's what you're looking for. So uh, GiveWP, the major differences are is GiveWP is really robust, really made for uh, organizations that are collecting lots and lots of donations, where Simple Pay Lite is very much that. It's simple. It's a quick way to get a payment and you can customize it a little bit. So again, let's copy that short code. Now we'll head right back to our donation form, hit edit, Beaver Builder. We're gonna edit this text edit here. I'm gonna paste in our simple pay short code and in, in the place of it. And you can see that's all it is, is a button. Um, with their pro version, you can do a complete form like GiveWP, but right here, it's just going to be a quick button. This is great. If you already have a WordPress website, you can just throw it right on your WordPress website to work uh, or to collect that donation. And then when I click on it, it just does a little pop-up. Oh, I got to shut off my... No, I already did. Um, it's just going to give us a little pop-up right here, and it's super basic. It's just throw in your email, credit card number, and then pay. And again, this doesn't work with PayPal. It's just going to work with Stripe. And like you saw in the show, in the notes that they had there, it's going to also work with Apple Pay and Google Pay, which is really cool. So somebody can check out super fast on their phone. But that's it. That's really super quick. It's really clean and easy to set up. Just drops in this little button. That's the GiveWP plugin and the WP Simple Lite plugin. Pretty easy and pretty powerful for free to start accepting donations on your site in place of Patreon. Let's get right back into the video. All right, now that we know how to set up these plugins, they're fairly painless, fairly easy. If you're just looking to get a donation button up there and set up some recurring payments with either Stripe or PayPal, both of these plugins are great. I know both of the authors, and I think they write exceptionally good code and have exceptionally good support, which is very important when you're running your WordPress website. Let's just talk about that for a second. A lot of people looked at Patreon as that beacon of hope for creators to monetize their channels. We've seen AdSense and Google ads and stuff like that sort of get smaller and smaller or shrink the amount of money that we're getting as creators um, over time. And we always looked at Patreon as something that was close to the creator community and something as a great viable alternative to just ads. Um, and as we've seen with a lot of platforms out there on the web, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Vine, all of these platforms eventually change their rules. Medium is another great example of that. All of these platforms that are heavily funded change their rules and at the end of the day, it either hurts the consumer or it hurts the creator or both all at the same time. Very seldomly do we see these bigger organizations really come through uh, and innovate and give back more profit margin than take away and that's a sad thing. That being said, without the uh, hurdle of technical debt of WordPress, right? In other words, in other, you have to learn how to use WordPress. I know you have to get your own hosting. Some of it be, can be kind of clunky or confusing, but if you spend a little bit of time learning it, it can pay off in dividends in the future. Number one, no one's ever gonna change the rules on you. I mean, short of the merchant account that's changing or taking a percentage away, like a Stripe at 2.9 plus 30 uh, cents a transaction, 
there's no other fee other than the software licensing that you might buy with like GiveWP or WP Simple Pay, and it's very short money. I mean, they're not taxing you on the amount of revenue that you're putting out there. They're not going to put you through different tiers, which is amazing. And again, you're not agreeing to somebody else's terms. It's your own terms. It's your own website. And for those of you thinking, well, my God, I have to build out a whole website. I have to do all this stuff to get this thing loaded. I mean, you don't have to go crazy. You could set up a single domain specifically for accepting donations during your YouTube channel or your podcast. For example, I could set up a domain that just says donate to matt.com. And on that, I would set up either a give WP or WP simple pay button for somebody to click on. And I might have a nice picture of myself and a little bio, but I don't have to go head over heels designing and developing this entire site. And it's very lightweight and affordable. So hosting should be very affordable as well. I mean, that's the beauty with WordPress. You can do whatever you want with it, air quotes, <laughs> and it doesn't have to be overwhelming if you don't make it. Uh, and it's just a great alternative to own your content and your platform. And I implore you to maybe take a look. If you're looking for uh, alternatives to Patreon, think about these two plugins. Think about setting up your WordPress website. Whew, man, platforms. I'm not a huge fan of them. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of them. I just like to use them to drive traffic back to my own content, my own website, my own email list, that kind of thing. Plugintut.com, plugintut.com slash subscribe to join the mailing list. If you like videos like this, go ahead and thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more WordPress tech support stuff things. Tech support? No tech support. Just techie things <laughs> here on this channel. We'll talk about them. Let me know in the comments below. If, do you use Patreon? Are you going to move away from Patreon? What are you using? Are you interested in, uh, as a YouTube creator, are you interested in seeing like what a membership site might look like in a WordPress world? Let me know in the comments below. Happy to help. We'll see you in the next video.